if you compare with the ICT because ICT often is understood as the sector where everything is happening as if as a day but actually now I think the changes in the ICT sector is now having its impact on all other sectors and we see a the we see the momentum is is getting built up in this sectors and we see much faster changes in all these areas um, and I think the opportunity in the energy sector is going to be mind-boggling in the coming years I mean, uh, the changes um, in in ICT um, can be um, can be looked at as uh, as uh, as opportunity um, in in different kind of you know services, but I think the opportunity which will create in the energy sector will be so huge, and I think many entrepreneurs can really um, uh, really um, discover kind of gold mine in these changes, you know? Gold mine. Yeah. Uh, say, um, I, I can tell you that what we know about energy today, nothing is going to be relevant say 10 years down the line. Everything will undergo a change. The way we produce energy, the way we distribute energy, the way we store energy, the way we consume energy, Everything is undergoing a change, and um, and this is not only um, not only the case of one energy sector or one form of energy replacing the other. Uh, that okay, some people say that okay, petroleum energy, uh, the uh, the the lifespan. Uh, is is now limited because of this uh, uh, non-renewable energy. So we are day by day we are oh. exhausting uh, this more and more. Uh, so um, so now it it has to be replaced by a renewable energy, maybe solar mm -hmm. energy. Right. But what is most likely is going to happen that that many other sources of energy will have a combined effect and then replace the fossil fuel based energy. Say solar, oh. wave, wind, and then also other very, uh, you know, very non traditional form on which uh, not much work has been done so far, say vibration. The, okay, mm, uh, take for example. If a huge um, vehicle, a truck um, with totally loaded you know, um, items is moving on the on the road, you get the vibration. That, well, that's energy. Yeah. That's energy. Well, so if that energy also can be captured and converted, so maybe with that you can charge your cell phone. That energy, uh, uh, you know. And now even people are talking about. Uh, um, you know, think, uh, talking about shoes which you use uh, that can convert your own uh, you know, um, uh, energy spent on working convert to um, you know, storable um, energy and which you can use again for, uh, for appliances where you require very small amount of energy. So I think uh, uh, there, um, there are multiple alternatives would be available to generate energy which will replace ultimately the, the fossil fuel based energy. So a so country like Trinidad Tobago may find very difficult actually to sell energy after some time uh, 
because as this renewable form of energy will come to the marketplace, then there will be, um, you know, there'll be heightened consensus on preserving the environment. So people may not like to use petroleum based uh, energy because that is that would be considered environmentally not friendly. Uh, you know, many years back, uh, some countries used to um, export dyes to, uh, I mean, some developing countries used to export dyes to the developed world. Uh, India used to export uh, all kinds of dyes, say, to Europe. And then what happened, that the time came when, say, countries like Germany decided not to import you know all those dyes which are environmentally not friendly so you know they wanted azofi dyes you know this thing so so um, now similar things may happen with energy so so the time may come that we may still have a lot of energy and fossil fuel but there are no bias mm. you see there will be there will be a huge disincentive for those people to consume this kind of energy. Uh, and, and, and this alternative form of energy has, uh, are really coming up very fast. It is uh, uh, also um, interesting to know that, that uh, some kind of uh, research now showing that even you can you can generate uh, nuclear energy where you do not have the uh, the risk of radiation. Uh, it's called uh, low energy nuclear re reaction (LENR) technology, which uh, mm, uh, which recently uh, was uh, demonstrated by an Italian engineer called Andre Rossi, and he actually invited uh, people uh, to see. And that how he is able to produce energy, and a very kind of you know uh, 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 in a in a in a very ordinary environment using very simple equipment, uh, and he is able to produce nuclear energy in that sense, you know? but not in that sense you know the high energy nuclear reactors where you know we have a lot of you know obviously you know environmental concerns you know risk. Is pretty high, but this is in just in a, in a normal lab environment is producing energy, and then this uh, the whole experiment was repeated by a Russian scientist, and the whole video is available on YouTube, and you can see that very simple kind of you know, instrument used and to produce this kind of energy. So basically, what is going to happen that probably we will again get back to this old era of self-sufficient energy that when every household would generate their own energy and uh, would be self-sufficient um, you know because that today's this environment it is not there always i mean before electricity <laughs> or, you know we were uh, consuming uh, our produce um, consuming energy on our own there is no central uh, supply of energy to greed and everything you know? so so maybe again we are heading towards that kind of a situation and where we'll be using not this time energy which is environmentally friendly, renewable, cheap and that itself will create enormous amount of opportunities for entrepreneurs who are thinking of a career in the energy sector.